In today's episode, I'm going to show you 10 best things to do in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, as well as trusted companies that can offer you these activities based on my experience. Let's do this. There are various ways that you can see and experience the mighty Mosiatunya Victoria Falls. A helicopter ride with Chikopokopo helicopters is one of the most epic and memorable ways to do it. Make sure you try this out whenever you are in Victoria Falls and you will thank me later. Bungee jumping will forever remain the most memorable and daring thing I've done in my entire life. If you love adrenaline stimulating activities, why not try this at the Victoria Falls Bridge with Shea Water Victoria Falls. I call this experiencing the falls upside down and you'll thank me later too. To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine For epic views of the sun setting over the falls, I would recommend visiting in the evening when the sun is setting. Victoria Falls is the largest waterfall in the world. It is twice the height of North America's Niagara Falls. The falls are full from February to May, with April being the peak due to the flooding of the Zambezi River. During the flooding season, however, it is impossible to see the foot of the falls and most of its face, and the walks along the cliff opposite it are in constant shower and shrouded in mist. <laughs> The fourth way to experience the falls is by being in the river that actually creates the fall, the Zambezi River. And one of the best ways to do it is by canoeing. Showing off. I see you showing off. So, right now, this is the border of Zimbabwe, Zambia. So, this is the Zambezi National Park in Zimbabwe and Mosiwa Tunya. 
park, national park in Zambia, and this is the Zambezi. So basically, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and Zambia are separated by this river. <music> Did you know that crocodiles actually eat other crocodiles? Well, now you know. If you want to learn more about crocodiles and even see products that have been made out of crocodile skin, you can have all this experience at Crocodile Farm. And the Crocodile Farm is not just about crocodiles. Here, you also get to see lions as well as snakes and learn more about them. So those are actually female lions. <laughs> yeah. They are in the cage yeah. and we're walking right up eat. here. Yeah. Hope we place, like and next to that side. This so is the lion the walk. And the meat. Now we're heading to the croc right. walk. In this side we do conservation. So we are on the way to yeah. the croc walk. Uh, so, if you see a big one coming, you think it's a speedboat. <laughs> so this thing of hanging. Hey, oh. sorry. Why do you want to surprise me? Eat. Come. Nice work. Hey. He's he's big. Ooh, nice. When it comes to crocs, we have the karyal crocodile. Right. The karyal is you find them in India. Mm -hmm. Right? Those are the ones with the with the mouth that is long and pointy, thin like this. That's the karyal, right? And then we also have the fresh water. They're small, but they also have a pointy mouth. Long thin again. Mm -hmm. Then you have the American crocodile. Now you've confirmed the third of the day it is another croc, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so how do, do they determine which one is to be eaten? The smallest is food. That's why you see the young ones always from 30 hatchlings. One always makes it to adulthood, sometimes zero. Because yeah. the big ones will eat the small ones. Crocs feed on croc. So that one is eating smaller croc. So this farm, they say it has over 2,500 crocs. The up is they always bite and they, <laughs> they get loose, they will have tracked them. Exactly. So uh, it's not true. So people are just making up stories to scare each other and stuff. Yeah. Mm. This one, I can fight it. Ah, this one, nah, this is always, they will avoid you. You jump in here, they all scatter straight into the water. <laughs> I'm not afraid of this one. I will just hold the tail. Now nah, these won't uh Can you train a, a croc to become vegetarian? What? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> it will get skinny and die. <laughs> when I mentioned that I was going to visit Victoria Falls, everyone was telling me to make sure I visit the Boma. Indeed, if you want to experience the culture, the food, the dance, everything about the people of Zimbabwe, well then, the Boma is the place to be. Get to eat a mopani worm. And I'll demonstrate eating mopani worms. We call them Madora or Matlimbi as well. Yeah? Yes. It's a worm. It's not a worm. It's meat. Uh -huh. It's delicious. Mm. Mm. You guys don't know what you're missing. Game drives are a must do in Victoria Falls. For me, the best time to do this is in the evening as the sunset. It gives a certain sort of energy and vibe that makes me feel so refreshed. So be sure to see some animals like elephants, giraffes, guinea fowls, kudus, waterbucks, and so much more.
never notice that when giraffes walk, they move both legs on one side of their body, then move both legs on the other side. Just watch. saw a lot of animals along the way but to me the sunset background was actually the highlight of everything Beyond the falls and resorts, if you want to see the countryside of Victoria Falls, you can actually do a quad bike with House of Zulu into the village of Monde and see how people live in rural areas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one and only, your girl, African Tigress. Let's do this. <laughs> To wind up this with recommendations of my favorite places to eat. So whenever you are in Victoria Falls, make an effort of trying out chicken, chicken heart. heart. I mean, we had this chicken in Harare, Harare. and it was so nice. Yeah. So when we spotted chicken heart here at Sawonga Mall, this is the main mall here in Victoria Falls. Yeah. So when we spotted this chicken, and especially today, I actually come from bungee jumping. Bungee and jumping. <laughs> My she's heart. crazy and she's crazy. <laughs> My heart. How could you jump there? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I need to re-energize and what better way to do it than with chicken heart. And so have some chicken heart as well as Coffee Republic. Coffee Republic and chicken heart. Yeah. I love their frappies. They're called frappies. Frappies, yeah. Frappies. They have the best exactly. frappies in Zimbabwe. So yeah. anyway, today we are here for the chicken and chicken heart. Chicken I think quarter chicken is okay. Which flavor would you say? Mild. Mild. Mild is good, yeah. Reynados is one of the latest popping joints. It's actually a new restaurant and definitely a place that you must try. You'll thank me later, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this amazing episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it as I enjoyed my time in Victoria Falls. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe in case you're not subscribed. And until next time, goodbye.